Kia internet! The other day I made this cushion in a video with Brenda from Conquering Mount Fratmore and I used raw edge applique for it which is quick and easy and fun which is why I did it but it got me thinking I'd kind of like to try doing something similar but using turned applique not needle turn not the proper hand stitched hard stuff just using the method where you put some interfacing on the back of the fabric then you turn it and then stitch it on that way so i think i'm going to not recreate this pillow exactly because doing the same thing over and over again is boring but i'm going to do something similar using that turned method and just see how it turns out much of a plan here I'm just gonna make some petal and leaf shapes and see what happens I'm going to sew each shape onto interfacing right sides together and then turn them right sides out and I should have nice tidy shapes Let's see what we've got so far. It's a lot slower making the shapes this way and you have to keep the shapes pretty big so I think I want to keep the design a lot simpler than the last cushion which had a lot of small pieces. Seen as it's such a simple design it needs to be well centered. So I'm going to finger press centre marks on the fabric. So in theory, I should be able to just press these pieces into place and then stitch around the edges. I'm not really happy with how the edges of the petals are looking. So I think I'm actually going to zigzag them down so that the edges are covered. That might seem like a bit of waste after all that effort to turn them, but I think it's going to look better. much happier with that. So now I just need to turn it into a cushion. that much of a plan to start with. I do think it is quite effective with the stitching around the edges. Maybe one day I'll do one with a bigger shapes so that I can do the turning properly and see how that works out. But this will do for now. I'll have a whole series of denim pillows. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep this one for myself. I might actually give it away to 
one of our quilt guilds charities or something but I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Ka kite anō, internet.